Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your mid-December general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Sagittarius. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Sagittarius. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Sagittarius and cross watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and just see if there's any meditation messages that Spirit wants me to provide to you. But if you just want to go straight into the card poll, open up the comments and you'll find the pinned comment with the timestamps below. All right, so those of you who are joining me, let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Sagittarius. That was interesting. Um, so like I saw like a silver pendulum like swinging back and forward. And almost like to me it looks like someone like hypnotizing someone else or like even in general it felt like waiting. What's going to happen? Waiting for someone to finally do something? Like it feels like Someone's been waiting too long and that waiting is starting to make someone feel a little bit impatient here. And then I heard, you know what to do. So I wonder if that's your message to your this energy around you or what someone wants to tell you, Sagittarius. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm curious to see like what someone is waiting on. If the wor the waiting is worth it, I kind of feel. Because someone's taking their time is what it feels like and it's taken too slow for them to do what they need to do which is very interesting to me um let's go ahead and get into the cards i want to know what this is all about are you going to get what you're waiting for or is it going to just i don't know let's see i feel like a anxiousness or a nervousness even like in my stomach that I get someone may feel around you Sagittarius or someone knows like when approaching you there's something that has to get settled all right tell me about this energy surrounding Sagittarius spirit what is going on in their love life that Sagittarius needs to know about pay attention to the red flags all right the signs are cautioning you Ooh. Ooh, waiting so waiting to see if you were right, waiting to see if, um, I don't know, I almost kind of feel with this, like a gut feeling of knowing the inevitable is about to happen here. I do see someone that always wears a hat, and I'm seeing like a beanie that kind of, you know, slouches down. It's not the ones that kind of stick up, but hey, if that's for you, um, either that type of beanie or like a baseball cap or like a beret or whatever. Tell me more, spirits. We need to let Sagittarius know about this for sure. Tell me more. Attraction. And it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Tell me more. New love. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I'm feeling right now, and we'll pull more cards to see if there's other messages for different groups of you. Some of you guys, if you felt like something fell off, that someone just kind of pulled out, ghosted you, 
They may have had someone new in their life. They may have found someone new, but they haven't told you that. And maybe you're waiting for them to tell you and you found out through social media, through hearing about it. Um, it may even be Sagittarius, like a friend of yours. And they may have been doing this behind your back for some of you, okay? That's the initial feeling I'm getting here. And maybe that's what you're waiting for someone to finally admit to, cop up to, or just say. Now, others of you, I wonder if there's someone in your life that you recently met that all I can say is that they're very sexy, very charming, very smooth. And they say all the right things to kind of get you smile, blushing. But is this person only saying this to get what they want? Is this person just flirting with me to get in my pants? And then what's going to happen? Because something doesn't feel right here. And it could be trust issues, but it could be that you're on the mark for something, Sagittarius. I literally just saw a Target, like the Target logo, that department store, someone could live by one. Um resonates for someone there but like you're on target with something Sagittarius about what you're feeling and what the red flags you're kind of seeing here all right tell me more I wonder if someone has secrets and they're trying to distract you from like being really sexy very suave oh okay let's tell me more the leather N is sticking out to me, as in Nate, as in Nicole, first, middle, last initial. Tell me more about this energy, the Sagittarius spirit. Ooh, two cards, like I pulled out, one flipped over, but my finger pulled out the other one, so we're gonna keep it, but first we have acceptance, and it says everything happens for a reason, and then we have strictly sexual, Ooh, I knew I was feeling that, Sagittarius. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. Yeah, some of you guys, it's like your spidey senses are tingling. You know there's more that someone's hiding that they don't are afraid of you finding out because then it would mean it would be done because it's not what you're looking for. Um, and I mean, if you guys have been physically intimate with this person, they may have used sex to distract you from like having serious conversations or talking about like the next step towards this. And maybe some like, you know, whether it's on your end or this other person's end, like the red flags are coming up about this person, you know, only wanting this to be temporary, whether lately they've been bad with texting, have ghosted you, um, just stopped talking in general. Wow. So this is the truth you need to hear, Sagittarius. And some of you where you've been like, hmm, something's off. Something doesn't feel right. Or even if you are still talking to them, it's like, oh, what did you do last night? Not much, but you saw they were out, going out. Um, yes, let's, let's get to the bottom of this. Tell me more about this energy. Oh, first, sorry. Let me get a chakra out. <laughs> Jumping ahead. Um, Tell me more. Oh, and if this person's like becoming a little bit extra aggressive, like maybe they felt like you've held out on them for some time, Sagittarius, and now they're going to try to go for it. The, I heard go for the kill, but obviously it's not so literal, right? But yeah, they have an interior motive. Someone needs to tell you the truth about this person. Tell me. Yeah, okay, crown chakra is here. So spirit is definitely sending you the red flags, trying to get you to open your eyes to the red flags, get you to really notice them. And But we have calmness here. And it says, to calm your monkey mind, do not feed the animal. So there's overstimulation here. And someone could be born near the monkey in Chinese astrology. I am, I'm so. Um, but... Whew, there's a lot of unanswered questions and uncertainties that's too much for comfort. And you're already starting to think if it's already getting this messy, is it worth trying to clean up? And if this person's making you feel anxious, Sagittarius, and more anxious than actually enjoying this and being passionate about it, 
excited about it. Like it's come to just like now hoping they'll text back, hoping they'll give you an answer. Like that's a red flag in itself that spirit wants you to know. But um, yeah, I think there could be something coming forward that may stir up your emotions, may stir up some anger and spirit wants you to kind of start to think before you act. And is it worth your energy as far as, you know, pursuing this? All right. I just saw a black leather jacket you may have worn last time seeing this person or they wore last time seeing you. Or black leather pants, faux leather pants. Tell me more about what's going on right now. That Sagittarius needs to hear. Three of Wands. I feel like they're going to catch you off guard with this Three of Wands here. Aries energy. I don't know why. I don't usually feel it with Three of Wands, but I am now. And it's like, whether they catch you off guard because, you know, they were quiet for so long, now they're making initiative and you're wondering why all of a sudden? And what does this mean? Like, am I a rebound? Am I just like a booty call? And others of you, like, you're hearing information come back. That's catching you a bit off guard. Oh yeah, they're with this person. They just got in a relationship they posted about on Instagram. What? Because they were just talking to me a week ago about wanting to come over. Something along those lines, okay? So I'm going to get all the tarot cards out first and then we'll do a deep dive into this. Yeah, they went quiet. They went silent out of the blue. It didn't make sense. Maybe you did Sagittarius again. You're always free to flip the rules here. Yeah, wow. Okay, there are two nines here. Someone's birthday could be December 9th, December 19th. Maybe November 29th. <sighs> yeah, wow. Okay. Let's get into it. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Very interesting. Uh, Gemini just had this on the bottom of their deck. So if you're dealing with a Gemini or if you have strong Gemini in your chart, I suggest checking out the Gemini reading to see if there's any messages for you there. But this is very different than what I felt for Gemini. In some aspect, it could mean that you met someone at work through working together on a project. Collaborative means through class, through school, whatever, okay? But what I'm kind of seeing and feeling here with the two threes, there could be like a third party thing going on, all right? Um, they were trying to balance out two different people. You were one of them. And this could be someone that they hooked up with at work or met at work even so. And that with the two threes here, your birthday could be December 3rd, December 13th, November 30th, or November 23rd. But yeah, I think, uh, I also kind of feel like they say they're busy. Oh, I'm busy doing this. I'm working on this. I'm working overtime. But like, they could be just paying more attention or giving more attention to something or someone else, okay? And I wonder, even if that's not so much the case, then Sagittarius, it could be that, um, you know, due to some sort of breakup or separation you recently going through you're um very timid and trying to be open to possibilities but it's hard because it seems like everyone is just looking for a fun time is not looking to settle down is not what you're looking for but for most of you you know I'm feeling big time third party situations here, okay? Or multiple people being involved that you had no idea about or had suspicions of. And I'm just gonna throw it out there. Um, it's not for everyone, obviously. There could be someone that just found out they're pregnant and it was definitely not planned. So let's get into it. Dead center of this is the Three of Wands, Aries energy. Okay, so for some of you, I'm definitely feeling the catching off guard, but they're like catching you by surprise with, you know, out of the blue text message, and you're wondering why. This is weird. <laughs> like, I, this, you know, there's something else that I need to wait on and see. 
and you're right with that, there's something else creeping up. And um, others of you, it's like you're trying to gather whatever information you can and maybe one way is through social media and you see that they're doing a lot. Maybe even they're traveling right now or going on business trips or whatever and it seems as if like they're on to the next already pretty quickly. I want to clarify this three of wands. Tell me more. Six of cups. Ooh, okay. Scorpio energy. Some of you guys, they did go back to someone from their past. And that person has always kind of been around. But um, currently, they're spending and investing time in that. Others of you, it's like you're trying to move on from it. But because of this missing piece, this missing puzzle, and not getting closure, it's like you can't help but, like, need to know why which is natural that's human you know i'm not judging you for that at all we've all been there because it's just something that feels unsettled tell me more about this three of sort or three of wands excuse me six of pentacles number synchronicities everywhere for you guys threes uh what did i say nines and sixes may mean something to you. December 6th, December 16th, November 26th could be your birthday. But uh, yeah, I got to say Sagittarius that um, they've been investing, going out, going to dinner with, going on dates with another person. But I got to say Sagittarius, what they did to you, they're most likely going to do to this person. It's the same plan, the same trick but a new person to do it on. So don't think this person's getting like, you know, some sort of special treatment. No, this, the person you were involved with or currently involved with is known to do this, okay? Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys are finding this out through a friend, through gossip, through social media, a post, messages, maybe even looking through someone's phone you're finding something here, okay? And maybe even, you know, you confront someone about it or have, and they were like, oh, it's, it doesn't mean anything. It was in the past. It was just sex. But they're still lingering around. That third energy, okay? What's challenging this, crossing this, is the hermit card, Virgo energy. So someone's completely withdrawn, gone silent, gone mute. Someone literally muted someone on their phone, maybe even blocked them in a sense. And um, the silence is out of the blue, you know, is what was weird. And for some of you where three of wands is the center and this was crossing it, if they are coming back, you know, randomly, like, where, where were you? Like, you're trying to come back asking me how my day was, how has I been when you ghosted me? Or left things like so unanswered for me. It doesn't, it feels weird. It feels so weird here. And with this hermit card, um, you know, I feel Sagittarius. Maybe they're trying to get you to respond. Trying to get you to come out of your shell. Trying to get you to s convince you of, you know, certain things. But it's been hard to do that. I feel like you don't trust them and these signs that spirit may be sending you like whether it's like specifically number synchronicities or it's like a feeling of I need to look at their social media and then you see something sketch or something along those lines like they've proven a lot more to you than what this person has ever said. What's crowning this reading is the world card. This is fixed energy, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius energy. So you guys could have met online. Someone could have a prominent social media following, an online business. You could come from different cultures, different backgrounds, different ethnicities. You may have met traveling for some of you guys. But with this world card here, uh, something went public, it feels, or something more... Um, that everyone knows about recently. So someone could have changed their relationship status on Facebook or something like that, or starting to post 
someone new. And, you know, almost for some of you guys, it feels a little bit cold how they're kind of flaunting this. Knowing that you're hearing about it, knowing that you're seeing it. Yeah, we got five of swords here, which we'll talk about, but um, it seems like they're trying to show off what they have right now. Sagittarius. Now, others of you, um, if they have come back in and they are saying like, you know, I only want this with you. I'm only focusing on you, you know, be very careful. Like it feels a little love bombing, to be honest here, or like, you know, a card in their pocket to use to kind of bolster you up and bolster your confidence up so you don't really remember all the sketchy shit that happened. That's how it kind of feels here. And even for some of you, like out of the blue, they may have sent like a selfie picture that was sexually connotating or even like a nude or something like that out of the blue or a text message of wanting to hook up or something along those lines. What's rooting this is nine of cups in reverse. Pisces energy. So for one thing, this person is not emotionally available, doesn't make you feel emotionally uplifted, emotionally heard, emotionally supported. That's a red flag as well. And that some of you guys are really starting to see and understand now. And I feel for others of you with this nine of cups in reverse, spirit is just trying to reiterate no matter what, how they're trying to sell it. Um, this is not what you want, period. This is not what will make you happy. This is not what will make you feel satisfied. And there's a lot more you deserve and that you should have than what this person can give. I'm just being real with you like that, Sagittarius, because um, some of you really have been having these suspicions or been wondering what you've been hearing is true. And I'm seeing it definitely for a lot of you here, okay? And, you know, also with this Nine of Cups in reverse rooting the situation, deep down I feel there's a lot of insecurities going on in someone here. And for some people with those types of insecurities, finding multiple sexual partners or getting a lot of people interested in them gives them that boost, but it never really heals it. That's why they keep going out for more. It's like a, you know, bottomless cup that they try to keep refilling here. I just want someone to know that because I feel, I wonder with this Nine of Cups in reverse, like someone was blaming themselves. No, no, this is something deeper than that, okay? How you are in this situation, how they may be seeing you is the star card. Some of you can have an Aquarius rising, an Aquarius moon. Okay, so for some of you guys, like spirit is really opening you up. Spirit is putting you in certain situations on certain pages to find out these answers, to get the truth from what this person is unable or not courageous enough to say and show you. Spirit has been placing these incidences in your life to open your eyes and by no means were those accidents it was like if you found something on someone's phone or if something you know you saw someone out in public with this other person like spirit wanted to open your eyes up to this and spirit has been very much with you Sagittarius I do feel around you a very healing spirit guide that um you know wants to just show you the truth, but then we'll be there for you in the healing and the aftermath. Now, I feel Sagittarius with this star energy here, and I always feel this in love readings, is a uniqueness, is a rarity. And, um, you know, they may have mistaken you to be some regular schmegular, and they may come to find out later when they're actually dealing with the basics that you are something that had a lot more magic, a lot more of a significance, it feels. I don't know why I'm hearing Hallmark. Um, but 
also for some of you guys, you could get, you could be the ones with the strong social media following, um, be well known, whether that's because you work in like, um, you know, the entertainment industry, acting, singing, modeling, um, or even like a publicist type event, a job in a situation like that. Um, anyway, they may kind of see and feel like there's misalignment there. Their higher selves recognize that and maybe get a little bit intimidated by that. But for those of you where this person's trying to come back in your life, reconnect again, recently has, maybe even they tried to come back by wishing you a happy birthday, but it was just so like, <laughs> you know, like, okay. Thanks for remembering, but that's kind of strange. It, um, They're hoping that this will work because I think they do like spending time with you, but um, they like to have you in their own way. And it feels special to them, but again, it's very uh, limited as far as what they want and what they need and not really consider you Sagittarius. How you see them or how they may be in this connection is the Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. Yeah, um, you feel like they've been a little bit harsh, a little bit brutal, and whether it's through how they ended things with you or how they're like, you know, now moving on so quickly, uh, you feel as if they're a bit arrogant, you feel as if they're a bit um, just not doesn't treat people very well especially romantic partners is quick to discard is quick to you know shut off cut off and um you know i think they like to leave things open-ended so by not just texting you that they want to break up or texting you they're over it they want to leave things open-ended in case something else doesn't work out they would always have in their mind again whether this is true or not another option with you. But maybe even f you feel like Sagittarius when you're not rolling out the red carpet for their return, they start to get snippy, they start to get mean, they start to get personal and you're starting to see that. All right, Sagittarius, to see the likely outcome of this situation, what are they likely to do and what is likely to happen from now to the end of the month, you need to be aware of, know about, or to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm gonna overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome. Just pull some more tarot cards, oracle cards, so if you still have any questions, let's get those answered now. To join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find a link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Sagittarius, I hope that this has at least confirmed a lot for you, has given you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance that you were looking for by watching this message. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Sagittarius, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Sagittarius.